All right, welcome to run through playthrough. We've got the treadmill going at three miles an hour, and making today another walking day. Some says still do that, yeah, but uh, do have the uh, timers up on the screen. So if you want to run with a warm up, churn, and cool down, feel free, or feel free to walk, or feel free to uh, you know just watch without any of those things. So. one marked already. Okay. So, I had marked this here. back for just a second, so we can mark, oh, we already got that marked, so never mind.
this one and die. Let's see if that picks that up quicker. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes, whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... There are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called Draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution. Some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. Oh, back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. Oh, okay. Alright, so there's that little bit more of context. Calling these tears of the dragon, so it's starting to seem more and more like uh, like Zelda is 
Um, became a dragon that we saw, like the light dragon up there. Still a lot of unclaimed memories. Um, adventure log. Dragon's Tears. Yeah, there you go. We have three geoglyphs yet to investigate. Alright. So, I think there's at least two probably in the Gerudo area based on having ended up looking up a few times. Where exactly in Jupiter's the pools are? Yeah. All right, I'll take another yeah. clock. One mark there. Well, let's try it again. There's one there, may as well go find it. the bond with the Rito. Oh, I guess that's just with the Rito, not necessarily with the champion. There's a floating island up there, so let's go check it out.
Just here. Connection with the sages. Um, let's get this. Actually, we're not really needed to be that stealthy since it's not nighttime at the moment. out of there. So there's a in this one too. Okay. Well, 
does this work for? That looks like go on over there. Indiana Jones style there. Some springs and time bombs. Looks like there might be a spot where a bomb, or like a bomb flower might work well. guys right now though pick up some precious stones in the process okay perplexed why I had that marked as a special spot, but 
Okie dokie. Um, let's see, do I want to hop up and over here and get to one of these shrines so it's easy to work back here? Stones. Okay. Guys, here, this little alcove. <laughs> Sage's will thing. Um, let's work back here to find out. But it'll probably be next round because it'll probably take too long with the one minute that was left. And shields surf along with tracks for minecarts and other on rails conveyances. Interesting. instead of getting going on it further. Uh, okay, so I got about five seconds to hit the 30-30 mark for some nice even rounding. Um, it says 1.525. That's usually the 30-30 mark, and there it is. So we'll click over to this board log that we did, in fact, get 30-30 at 3 miles an hour for 1.525 miles on the day. So thank you for watching. If you missed any, you can check out the socials. Uh, should have those updated today from uh, last run um, or last round. And what I've got 
uh, you got Twitch that keeps about the last week or so. YouTube has all the way back to the start of the round through this game. And then Twitter has kind of the timeline of both. Um, you can follow on Twitch for go live notifications. And go live is typically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at about 6 a.m. Pacific. And let's see. I think that's about it. So hope you can join the next time, which should be Friday um, or another time. And until then, take care and have a good one.